learners after discussing the model site design and course design and development of e tutorial as the first quadrant of the online course let us go to the next step in the session that is developing quadrant 2 and quadrant 3 of MOOCs with Moodle the quadrant 2 of any MOOCs or any online course is development of supplementary supplementary material may be in the form of some text videos notes or images the course developer or the teacher arranges this supplementary material which is the licensed text videos or images available freely on the internet in the form of open educational resources another aspect which we will be discussing in this video is designing quadrant 3 which is assessment this assessment may be in the form of quizzes short or long answer type questions and assignments the learning objectives of this present module are the learners will be able to understand the concept of development of quadrant 2 that is arranging for oers the learners will be able to use oers appropriately for their own online course the learners will be able to understand the concept of development of quadrant 3 that is designing and developing assessment in the moodle the learners will be able to assess the students in their own mooc course with moodle so let us discuss the first aspect of this module that is arranging open educational resources appropriately before going further open educational resources need to be discussed in brief open educational resources can be defined as technology enabled openly available educational resource for free use and for commercial purpose and as modifiable content for teaching learning process and research process open educational resources are made available free of cost in the form of videos or any text or images first let us discuss significance of open educational resources in moocs open educational resources are accessible to people anytime and anywhere suitable from financial point of view use of open educational resources is the easiest and the fast means of transmission of knowledge open educational resources provide up to date content related to the topic using open educational resources is very efficient and very specific as the specific oer is searched with a very easy process and recently in india there is a huge development in the field of generation of open educational resources and simultaneously the number of institutes offering these oers through their portals and in our country the most of the education institutes use english as medium of instruction in the higher education institutes and can gain so much benefits from these oers available in english if we classify open education resources on the basis of type of content content these can be categorized in main four categories first text based open education resources further videos and animations can be classification and categorization of oer is blurred but still we will discuss the categorization of oers as per the classification by creative commons first digital learning objects digital object libraries oers encyclopedias online repositories of oers open ebooks open courseware open courses and open educational resources may be categorized as per indian initiatives for open educational resources first naptal national program on technology enhanced learning is a collaborative product of iits and isc the videos of naptal are made accessible to all free of cost then cec consortium for educational communication cec work for learning object repository for gyan darshan education channels and educet many videos have been prepared learning object repository includes and contain all this educational content third e gyan course of ignu excellent videos prepared for gyan darshan education channels all this content have been developed under the studio of ignu every school of ignu has its contribution in its development such videos and audios oers need to have collaboration with international online streaming video portals like meta cafe and youtube now oers in textual form online books are developed by ncert in the form of oer ncert publishes textbooks in the form of oer at school level as per ncf 
these developed textbooks work as source of standards for the textbooks developed by various school boards e gyan kosha of ignu under different academic programs ignu has produced learning material self learning community uses this openly accessible material nsdl national science digital library national institute of science communication and information resources initiated this project world class excellent science and mathematics books are resort under nsdl vidya nidhi vidya nidhi is e library and e scholarship platform for the research work conducted in the form of dissertation at the department of scientific and industrial research ford foundation and microsoft india has collaborated this project with university of mysore full text of indian dissertation and thesis is made available for the learners at global level then rai open courseware rai open courseware is a private foundation which took an initiative for providing learning resources in the area of professional education and vocational education as per the nature of functionality oer can be classified as first directories related to oers list of links of oers is prepared and stored in the form of directories for example directories of open access journals offer direct link to the research articles then platform specially designed digital tools help in working with oers for example these tools may be utilized for making new educational resource material and moreover the tool may be utilized for licensing of the new oer then repository collection of oers or database which are normally developed by an institution for example oer commons marlot and the supplementary material this oer material may be available in the form of powerpoint presentation lesson plans lecture notes related to the required theme of the researcher then multimedia creative common research flickr bing vimeo provide various types of media with licensing now let us discuss oers in moocs with moodle this is the second quadrant of an online course which is e content arrangement of e content in the course using various form of oers first is e text the above mentioned oer resource may be utilized by following certain steps first open the resource of oer in google browser for example oer commons or merlot search the oer by typing the keywords related to your search in the search section of that oer resource then apply the licensing condition under which the searched oer can be used like cc by sa cc by nc cc by whichever is suited to your purpose of using oer then download this oer in your system after this after downloading process open your email and then mail drive add new file select the oer file and upload this file in the drive then open your moodle site and the moodle course already generated and designed by you in your first video on the right side of your course setting button will be there this will be a orange color button from this button do turn editing on editing option will appear against each unit of the course to be developed then click on add an activity or resource against the unit in which you want to add the oer a drop down list of activities and resources will appear and then select the option url among the choices under resources because these are the resources a new window for adding the url will appear name the oer in the top section and then in the second section for second section again you are to open the drive right click on the oer to be added an option share will appear then click on it after clicking on the option share then you are to click on the option anyone with the link can view this option is to be selected then click on get shareable link and then click on copy link and after copying this link this link is to be pasted in the add url window after clicking on save and display this oer will be appearing on your first page of the unit then video resource oer in the google browser search youtube 
you may also use teacher tube or swam prabha videos also then type your search keywords after that youtube window will change into a different window and the filter button will appear on it click on filter apply the filter as per the need and purpose of the oer video resource to be used one filter option may be creative commons click on creative commons only creative commons licensed video will be displayed on your screen then play the video which you want to add as a video resource as a supplementary material then pause the video do right click on the front screen of the video many options will appear which may be like copy video url copy embed code and many others also choose whichever code you want to use in your course then open your moodle course click on add an activity or resource against the unit in which you want to add this video as a resource a new window for adding the url will appear name the video resource in the top section paste the copied url of your youtube video in the second section and then click on save and display in the same manner online books or any other open educational resources can be added in the course and all the text or videos or other resource will be displayed on the front page of the course then the second section that is development of quadrant 3 quadrant 3 is designing assessment in moocs with the help of moodle under this section the course developer or the teacher design assignment and the quiz for the online course to be developed on moodle first we'll discuss adding assignments in the moodle course assignments can be added against each unit for this you have to click on add an activity or resource against the unit in which the course developer or the teacher wants to add an assignment a drop down pop up window will appear under activities head there will be sub head of assignment click on assignment then click on add a new window will appear and which will ask for assignment name and description fill these details mention the assignment submission date type of file of the course developer or the teacher wants to have from their students in the form of assignment submission after this click on save and display and the assignment will appear on the front page of the course structure then after adding of the assignments we'll discuss adding quizzes in online course adding quiz designing assessment in moodle by using quiz is little tricky adding quiz in moodle may be done in three phases first phase framing questions for the quiz for this type quiz in the prescribed format in notepad which is required for moodle this format is called icon format second phase click on add an activity or resource against the unit in which the course developer or teacher wants to add quiz for this you have to open your moodle site and moodle course then click on add a quiz then name this quiz and then a new window add button will appear now open the main home page of the course click on the particular course click on the setting button then click on more button then new window will appear on the screen and in the button there will be option question bank then click on import under the question bank after clicking on import a new window will appear and then select the file of framed questions in the notepad which is already developed in phase 1 and upload this file after uploading the questions importing the question the third phase will start in the third phase adding questions from the question bank will be done now the developer or the teacher is to open this section in which quiz was added then click on this quiz icon then click on the icon edit quiz then in the right side of the option add will appear click on this add button a pop up window will appear click on this choice select questions from the question bank here the course developer can select and add question from the question bank created in the second phase and imported in the second phase once 
all the questions are selected one by one click on add selected questions to the quiz now this quiz becomes ready to be attempted the option of editing the questions appears on the right side of the selected questions now let us sum up what we have discussed in this module dear learners today we discussed two very important quadrants of online course development that is developing e content in the form of supplementary material for the course like licensed text videos and designing assessment including assignments and quizzes I hope you enjoyed this learning session thank you